Hey everybody, this is our final Daisy Miller discussion. I wanted to make sure that you guys felt comfortable with the themes in Daisy Miller. Okay, so I will post this under week five Friday. This document that I'm typing on so that you guys will have this if you need it. Okay, so here we go. Daisy Miller's themes. <clears throat> One of the things that Henry James wrote, writes about in all of his novels and books is um, the idea of contrasting the old Europe with like new America. Remember, Henry James lived as an American expatriate in Europe for most of his adult life. So even though Henry James is technically an American author, he is really more of a European in culture because he lived most of his life in Europe. And so one of the things that he's always thinking about, you know, living in Europe is, is different than living in America. You know, America is a relatively new civilization, okay? We have not been around for very long. Um, you know, I mean, I think Jamestown was founded in like 1607, okay? So America... You know, settlements here have, have only been around for 400 years. Think of a place like Rome that's been around for 3,000 years. Think of a place like London that's been around for 3,000 years. Think of a place, you know, these ancient European cities that have had massive cities and huge buildings and culture and all of this stuff for so long. Okay. So you have ancient European things contrasted with the newness of America, okay? So that is one idea that Henry James always writes about. And you can see that, especially in the image of Daisy and Giovanelli in the Colosseum. That night. So imagine the Colosseum. Um, I don't know if you guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to Google what the Colosseum looks like if you're not sure. But the Colosseum was an engineering marvel. It was built about 2,000 years ago, and it was um, probably what you would think about as like a modern day football arena, okay? And um, the masses would go and watch gladiator combat, and they would go and um, watch spectacle, okay? It was like where you'd go to be entertained, okay? And so the Colosseum is like this ancient symbol of Rome and this incredible um, engineering feat. Okay, architectural brilliance. And um, Daisy and Giovanelli are sitting there. This Daisy is the very image of kind of almost a symbol for America and newness of America and how American individualism doesn't really fit in with the way things are used to being done. Okay, another idea, another theme from Daisy Miller is society. Now, let's, we're never going to just use one word as a theme, right? We're always going to use it in a statement. And so what I would like you to think about, um, so we're going to just start, it, start out with this, society's treatment of Daisy. Now, first of all, what was their treatment of Daisy? This is a general statement that doesn't really say anything. So I'm going to say society's brutal treatment of Daisy. Now, the question I have for you is, what does Daisy represent? I'm going to answer that question here. What does Daisy represent? What do you guys think? You know, on one hand, I mentioned above that Daisy is an individual. She doesn't subscribe 
to what everybody else does. She doesn't care what everybody's telling her to do. She doesn't care if she fits in. She doesn't care if she ruins her reputation. She says, I don't want to hang out with you guys anyway. If this is, if you're not going to believe me, you know, why should I care what you guys think of me if you are misjudging me? So Daisy is an individual and Daisy is kind of symbolic of that individualism that is at rise in America and American culture. Okay, so when we're talking about Daisy, we can kind of substitute Daisy for individuals, society, and our brutal treatment of those who differ from us. Okay, um, what else do you think Daisy can um, be substitute for? So we're going to say she's American, she's innocent. Um, we wrote on the board earlier, and so that's what I'm looking for over here. So there are multi, you're not really saying the hurt their society's brutal treatment of Daisy. I like individualism or individuals. Isn't it true that society, in all, that any society, but especially the posh society, the wealthy, the people who are in power, they don't want someone disrupting the status quo. They don't want someone changing the rules and thinking that they can do whatever they want. And Daisy does just that. She's changing the rules and she doesn't care and she does what she wants. And everybody's scandalized and everybody thinks it's dangerous and they think she's dangerous. Okay, so these are just two themes. They're, these are not the only two themes. So as you guys are thinking this evening and tomorrow when the passage, remember the question you are always going to get is some variation of how do the literary devices in the passage illuminate the meaning of the text? And the meaning of the text is the theme. Basically, what was the purpose of Henry James to write this passage, to write this no, this novella? Um, how do the literary devices used in this passage that you're going to get tomorrow on the test, how, does, how do those literary devices help you understand the meaning? So you have to have a solid grasp on the meaning. Okay, so just be thinking about that.